Hello and welcome to my Killing Floor 2 SDK tutorial. And today we're going to go over fractured glass. So, if for some reason you go and check out Environment Paris, go to Paris 2 Mesh, find glass, and you see glass 2 fractured, you'll be, oh sweet, I might as well just put my glass right here. I'm going to have to change the setting down to like 4 or something. Oh, I actually have to rotate it also. Okay. I think the glass is perfect. Oh, by the way, uh, if you want to be able to select the glass, um, there's this button here right next to the slider. Allow translucent selections, because if not, then you'll be selecting right through them. Um, it's there for convenience, really, because many times you don't know it's there, but for the, those times you do know it's there, it's very handy. Also, when you go to orthogonal view, you can see it very clearly. So, this fractured glass is pretty much the size of this wall here. So, we'll just position it up. Okay, so. Now it's all there. Let's see what happens if I play from here. So we see here's a glass. The glass shatters. Looking beautiful. But the thing is, why can't I walk through or run through? This is, this is bullshit. This is bullcrap. Well, that's because I didn't do the glass correctly. You should say the correct way to do fractured glass is just like doors you don't just put the mesh inside you gotta go to the actor class and you will find class for fractured static mesh actor and if you go to fractured mesh actor or KF fractured mesh actor KF fractured mesh glass so I uh, drag that onto here put it like about where the glass would be and make sure you have your glass fractured glass mesh selected over here open up the properties and fractured mesh actor uh, the static mesh component here so when you have it selected here Click the green arrow and viola. You got your static mesh here. Okay, so I'm just gonna line it up now. So since I have this selected, I'm gonna click home. It's going to zoom over to it for all my views. So I'll just slide it around like these. Okay, I think that should be good enough. I say that's close enough. And then if I play from here. This one. Oh, I can actually jump through. How sweet is that? So, let's go over here. Try this one. Still still can't jump through. So, again, the important part is this actor. Not this one. Yeah, yeah, this one. I need to fix my glass actor. Oh, here it is. Okay. Yeah, so that's what I'll probably do. Select this, Control Alt. And just copy it. You know what? I'm just going to move it down, click home so I can see it everywhere. Moving into the glass. Looks like it fits right there. Just about. There we go. Okay. It should be good enough. Oh crap, what am I doing? 
Okay. Okay. So now oh. it's fixed. Okay. There's some settings that you could fool around with. Essentially, um, insta kill on AI bump. Uh, total health. So how much health it has. Uh, this would be yeah. Set it for server, not client side. I don't know what most of these things do, but. Uh, just mess around with it. Wireframe colors. I don't think you want to mess with that. Um, splatter maps. Yeah, there's a whole lot of options. I honestly haven't checked it out, but it should work for glass. Um, actually, whenever, whatever you put inside as a static mesh, so it has to be a fractured static mesh. So I don't know how many of those things there are. But, oh, I misspelled the mesh. Extra static mesh. It seems like so far there's only the environmental glass, the cylinder theater, or the pillar, or the biocola. So these are all the factor static mesh. Um, I haven't messed with creating your own static mesh or factor static mesh, but I'm sure there's UDK tutorials out there that can follow fairly closely. So basically make a fracture static mesh and then stick it in there and then it should work. I might, well, maybe not the glass, but just set it as here and then mess with the settings. So only thing up to is your imagination. I just have to find a glass that's big enough to fit with that. Actually, what I'll probably do is just enlarge it. Yeah, that's what I think I'll do. So you don't have to watch me do it, but should be fun. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Let's go over to non-uniform scaling mode. Select that, and I am going to elongate it just a tad. Move it over this mesh. Oh, was I holding Alt when I did that? Maybe I was. So in that case. Switch this back to 160, pull it out. Do I have another glass here? No, that's it. Oh, okay. Oh, the other glass I was looking at in the orthogonal view was this glass right there. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's confusing. Anyway, I got a glass there now also. So, a giant glass here. This is so awesome. Great glass like no other. Okay. Okay, so you should have loads of fun with this. Okay. Quick escapes. Alrighty, thanks for watching.